Welcome to my 5 minute tutorial for Wavelength. This is a social guessing game that requires players to figure out what their teammate is trying to communicate with them, but they can only use this wheel. Your team's goal is to get the red dial as close to the bullseye as possible, but the twist is you're not allowed to see where the bullseye is. Fortunately, one of your teammates knows exactly where the bullseye is. They draw a card that has two opposing concepts on them. In this case, hot and cold. That player then gives a clue to show where on the spectrum they want their teammates to place the dial. Then it's up to the team to decide what they think their clue giver, who's on their team, meant by their clue. Finally, the clue giver will reveal how close the team's guess was. So let's get the game set up and ready to go. Divide into teams of roughly the same size. Team one will start with a pencil on their side and a value of zero on their point track. The second team to go will start with one point. Then each team will decide who is going to be the first clue giver. This responsibility should be traded from round to round. Lastly, take the previous card, put it back in the box, and draw a brand new concept card. Close the dial so it's hidden. Spin so there's a random positioning of the bullseye. And then the selected clue giver should turn the device where only they can see it, in which they reveal where their target should be and helps them make a better clue for their teammates. My spectrum of concepts goes from mildly addictive to highly addictive. And based on where I see my target, my clue is going to be moonlight. I will close the screen, share it with my teammates, and let them openly discuss what they think I mean when I say moonlight. The clue giver must stop communicating immediately with their teammates. They are not allowed to give any facial expressions or verbal cues. This team phase is essentially where the game happens. Make sure that you voice your opinion and your idea of what you think that clue giver meant because again, you're all on the same team. You want to get the answer right. Players can freely move the red dial around where they think. Just don't open the screen until you say that's your final guess as a team. So make sure that you've discussed it and that you all agree on where you think the dial should end up. Now, here's where the other team might have an opportunity to score. So if you think from the opposing team's point of view that this dial is too far left or too far right, simply state that after the dial is finalized. So let's say my team ended up placing the dial, let's say there. This is on the mildly addictive side. My opponents can say, I think that's too far left or too far right. So let's say my opponents say that that dial is not far enough down. It essentially needs to be even more mildly addictive. So the clue giver will reveal the correct answer by opening the screen. Because the opposing team correctly guessed that the marker should have been further down left, they get one point for that. If my team had guessed any of the colored spaces, they would get the number printed in that particular slice. Two, three, or four points. Four points is the bullseye. Play will continue with teams taking turns, having a new clue giver give a clue to their own team while offering a chance for their opponents to jump in and maybe nab a point. Once a team reaches 10 points, the game ends immediately and they win. When giving a clue, make sure you follow these rules. You must convey a single thought. Don't invent something just for your clue. Be on topic. Don't use the words on the card or synonyms for the words on the card. Don't include numbers. Some suggestions for making good clues? Be concise. 
Try using five words or fewer. Don't include any modifiers. Words like always, never, but. Feel free to use proper nouns. Here are some examples of really good clues. Wavelength takes about half an hour to play and you can play all the way up to 12 players with one game box. This game obviously works your creativity, thinking outside the box skills, or in this case, the wheel. And it also works communication. So not only is the clue giver communicating with their own teammates, but teammates are trying to communicate with each other to figure out what their clue giver is sending them as a message. They must think critically and problem solve. The other team is always active in this game, so make sure that you're paying attention even when it's not your turn because you can still earn points on your opponent's turn. There's a lot to love with this game, so when you play, I hope you get on the same wavelength with your own teammates. <laughs>